Hello friends, in this session we are going to continue our discussion about the maximum operational zero sequence voltage threshold. If you want to know what the maximum operational zero sequence voltage is, then refer to the lecture directional transient ground fault in session 3 and 4. In the previous session, we discussed that if the system is a radial system, in the radial system, we give a 3 volt as a maximum operational zero sequence voltage. But if we have a ring or a mesh type of the system, like if you have bus A, bus B and C and connected as a mesh, and we have one relay here, right, then this is a ring system in the with uh, one two three and four buses connected all as making a ring or a mesh type then the value of this maximum operational zero sequence voltage may be uh, uh, greater than three or uh, it it will be uh, definitely greater than three because in radial system we have lower operational zero sequence voltage but in the ring system, we have uh, in mesh system we have more uh, operational zero sequence voltage. So let's uh, try to find uh, how much will be the, the operational zero sequence voltage in our system, and how much we should select as a maximum operational zero sequence voltage if we have a ring system. Suppose that we have here one bus bar and this is a feeder connected to this bus bar and we want to protect this feeder. We have connected the PT or we call it as a VT. We connected this VT to this uh, the feeder or uh, transmission line as a primary. This is primary uh, connected into star. And the secondary phase windings are connected as a star again and connected to the relay itself. This is our relay. This is the terminals of connection for VT. And this is the neutral connection uh, to the uh, relay. In this, uh, in this type, we have uh, considered this is uh, open uh, delta winding. It is an delta, there is two points of connecting, uh, two points which are opened and connected to the uh, VN of the relay. This uh, voltage which appears in the open delta uh, winding here, this is called, this is a VN. This is the voltage of uh, the neutral uh, uh, winding. In the operating time, it means uh, when uh, the VT is uh, already connected and the, all the connections are done and now the system is on and this is the uh, terminal of a relay in this uh, supportic, for example, in Siemens relay, which we have considered in our, in our example. Here, we can read from, uh, we can read the V0 uh, from the relay itself because the relay itself calculates uh, the V0 uh, from the phase windings, uh, the phase VT windings to the relay, or we can um, read from the Dixie itself, we can find, at least we can find what is the V0 in the operational mode. It means the V0 operational. V0 operational. And for example, we read that the V0 operational value is uh, we read from the relay and relay already calculated for example it is the v0 operational is uh, 2.5 volts and now the maximum uh, operational we uh, calculate uh, we assume uh, greater than this operational value or at least uh, equal or little greater than uh, V0 operational. Now here we uh, assume that uh, V0 maximum operational value 
as a three or maybe two point six because uh, we have written we have read from the relay itself it is two point five and according to the consideration of the system we get it um, around two point five but uh, uh, the case is that uh, when there is uh, uh, not installed yet, it means that our relay is not installed yet, or maybe we cannot read from the relay or any problem in any case, we should have another way of calculating the V0. Important is that we should calculate V0 during the operation of the system. I mean in uh, rated uh, values, in rated values of PT, and uh, in uh, normal condition. Now you may think that, okay, this V0, um, we don't need to calculate and go for more calculations. We get this V0 as a Vn. No, this is wrong. This Vn is taken from the open delta winding. This is a Vn, this is not V0. This is not zero sequence voltage. This is a neutral voltage and uh, we should find a relation between neutral voltage and zero sequence voltage now here we know that this v0 from uh, va0 it means the zero sequence on uh, uh, first phase on zero sequence on the second phase zero sequence on the third phase this v0 is calculated by uh, relay this is uh, v0 on the three phases and what Vn is there, we should have some relation between these two, the zero sequence voltage on the phases and the neutral voltage that we have from delta connected winding. Here you know that uh, we have uh, on the first phase A, for example, three uh, Va0, the zero sequence uh, voltage on the first phase, on uh, one of the phase of phase A, for example, uh, is equal to Vf plus Vb plus Vc, according to the formula in a power system. If you don't know it, uh, refer on a power system, read it, then later come and uh, uh, watch the video again. Then uh, we know that uh, here um, in uh, 3 v0, uh, Va0, the, if you take the only the values, the uh, absolute values, not the angles, if you take only the absolute values of VA, VB, and VC, we sum it, then here we have that uh, VA means the uh, voltage of uh, one of the phase to the ground, one of the phases to the ground. Here, uh, the A phase to the ground, VA, and B phase to the ground, VB, uh, and C phase to the ground, uh, VC. This is, and VA here we know that VA is the uh, V rated secondary divided by root three uh, because it is uh, a star winding. The voltage of uh, V rated is the voltage between two phases, phase A and B, and phase two uh, phase, but phase two ground is divided by root three means uh, each one of this winding has a V rated divided by root three. So we have uh, here V rated, uh, uh, secondary rated divided by root three. And VB is two and VC is also the same value irrespective of the angles. Uh, we calculate only the absolute values. This is equal to three VA zero uh, and here, uh, if we calculate, then uh, this three becomes three, three, uh, three VA, uh, three V rated secondary divided by root three. Here becomes one three because this is uh, A plus A plus A. And three by three is canceled. VA zero is equal to V rated secondary divided by root three. What it means is the zero sequence uh, voltage on one of the phase, that is phase A, is equal to V rated secondary divided by root three. But uh, we, uh, here we have uh, two, uh, here we have three zero sequences of on, on uh, three phases, uh, phase A and phase B and phase C. This we know that uh, the relay calculates actually all of them, 
it means the relay calculates VA0, VB0, and VC0. That is, uh, each one of them, if we, if we take as a V0, then uh, it becomes 3V0. And now we find a relation between the, uh, zero, the phase voltages of uh, connected to the relay and the neutral uh, voltage that is a V phases, V zero sequence on the phases, and V zero, uh, V on the neutral, the voltage on the neutral, we know that the uh, zero sequence voltage on the three phases is three V zero, and the voltage on the neutral point is uh, Vn. Now, uh, this is the relation between the zero sequence voltage uh, on the phases and zero sequence uh, and the neutral voltage. What I mean is this one, that is the 3V0 uh, uh, divided by uh, Vn. And here we should uh, calculate that uh, how much is the Vn. We know that Vn is uh, the voltage between uh, these two points. And uh, each one of this phase voltage is uh, V rated secondary divided by 3 uh, because it is in uh, delta winding and uh, there is 3 uh, windings and divide by row 3. Uh, VA, VB and VC becomes 3 V A rated, 3 V rated secondary divided by 3. That is the VN. For this example, uh, we have three uh, multiplied by V0, we know that uh, uh, V0 here, we have V rated, that is V rated, one of the phase uh, V rated secondary divide by root three and Vn is equal to, Vn is the uh, voltage of three phases A, B, and C, if you take all of them as equal in magnitude, then uh, one of the phase uh, voltage is uh, one of the voltage of the phases V rated secondary divided by three. This is called the uh, matching ratio. This is called matching ratio. From this ratio, we always find the V0 or zero sequence voltage. And we uh, actually measure the Vn and we find the V0 sequence. For more discussion, I can write here uh, V0 multiplied by 1.2, 1 1.2 in the case of the mesh, if the V0 uh, from the calculation is greater than 2.5. Or maybe from the measuring, if it is in the mesh uh, uh, system, in the ring system, if we see that V0 in the relay is calculated as greater than 2.5, we uh, take that value of V0 and multiply it by 1.2 uh, and we uh, add it as a maximum operational V0 